Welcome to the hole. Unicron's hole. Hey, what's up? We got vape mail today. Vape mail. Vape mail, vape mail. Element vape, vape mail. Why? Because things go boom in the night and we need to replace things that go boom in the night, right? Well, what did you get? Well, we're going to find out right now here. Gerber. Because Gerber. Oh, yeah, we, get, we got some of these uh, fire lock coils right here for the fire luke. For this fire luke right here. Not the fire luke mesh. But for the fire luke. Uh, Canthal. DVC coil point. Two five ohms. Shall we? Shall we take a peek? Shall we? Ugh. All right. Element vape. All right, element vape. All right. Uh, right. Right. Remax fire lock coil. This is why we do vape mails. This is why. Right here. Right here. All right. Canthal DVC coil 0.25 ohm. It's right there at the bottom. Canthal DVC coil 0.25. That's what's marked. That is what I ordered. That one's open. That one's open right there. And this one is split. This one's split. Um, that's not what this is. Um, is it? Really? That's how they did it? it? Okay, it is what it is. Damn it, Jared. All right, it is what it is. Um, this is the way they do, the way Fire Luke does uh, multiple coil heads is multiple coils in a head put it that way sure it's just dumb um that's not what this is i gotta open up uh some controls here and uh no i didn't why did i even bother i could just do this All right uh, you see this you see that right there that's what they call a dual coil. I expected two separate airflow holes. I expected that two separate airflow holes and uh, two coil a coil in each hole. No, this is a side by side coil. Um, does that really make it a dual coil? A, a, a dual coil? Does it? Does it? Um, What's in this stupid thing right now, which it's what the coil's for, is this fire luke right here, um, is the doing dairy, which means 12. It's not 12. It's six coils. Um, it's six coils, and there's some weird Clapton coils. Sure, they probably have dual cores. It doesn't mean they're a dual coil in each one. It's a, its own coil. This is a parallel coil. I was trying to remember the name of that. This is a parallel coil. So, yeah, dual wires, but it's a parallel coil. It means you took two wires and wrapped them around, and you get one coil. That is that is what this is. It's, it's not a dual coil, not dual vertical coils. This is a single coil parallel coil. Uh, somebody over there at uh, Freemax needs to learn the verbiage of coils, I guess. I I'm not an expert, but I'm not an expert, but that's how I see it. I'm a this shouldn't work, by the way. This is the Dewan Dairy coil head in here. It's .15. This is the old SWS box mod um, series. 2700 yeah series 2700 uh, these coil heads are supposedly able to rock from 80 to 
to 180 watts. Well, I'm at a 0.15 at 8.4 volts. I don't have Ohm's Law calculator out, but this is the best vape that this particular style of coil head has ever given me. I don't know why it works. It, it shouldn't. I understand there's a lot of coils in there, and that takes up a lot of the uh, uh, amperage and all that. And yeah, amperage, so probably not the best idea because of the amount of amperage that must take. But it is the best vape I've gotten out of these coil heads. I've only been uh, rocking this a couple of days like this. So, we're not going to talk about life expectancy. Oh, the other thing about these coil heads, if you order uh, uh, Fire Luke, Fire Lock, whatever, coil heads, let's do the zoom again because everybody likes a little zoom, right? The O-rings are never on them when you get them. They're never on them. So, you got to put them on. Where do they go? They go on the top one. They go in the top groove. That's where they go. It's where they live. They're happy there. They go in the top groove. Yes, there's two grooves there. They go in the top one. All right. You're going to need to know that. All right. Back down with your stupid focus. Okay. That's one thing that was in the package. Yes, there's more stuff. Of course, there's more stuff. Because more stuff. Um, ooh, what's that? Oh, yeah, I ordered this. See it? I forget, and I forget. There's a toy in here, too, so stay tuned. Um, uh, everything you see in this in this from the vape mail uh, came to a total of 85 bucks. 84 85 um, This is the Demon Killer 7-in-1 coil set, all right? And, uh because safety first and uh, all that nonsense and Gerber life we'll take the safety seal off I suppose so the package doesn't open in the mail that's about all that's good for demon killer I've had uh, the demon killer set up there I gave the round set to uh, a dad um, so he had something for his Oh, this is kind of cool. So, you open it up, right? And individual little little pieces there says everything. All right, let's do that again. Come on. Come on. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Don't mind me shaking. So, we'll speak on this a little while later. Uh, stapled staggered fuse, space clapton, tri-twisted clapton. Framed Clapton, Clapception, Takua, sure, Coil, sure, Alien V2. I'm uh, interested in the Alien V2 more than anything else in here, but they all look spectacular from the picture. Will they look spectacular when we crack them open? I don't know, but we'll find out. All right, and... uh, uh Peace la resistance. Sure, I ain't French. Um, the XT220 from Tesla Sigs. All right. Uh, what's in the box? An XT mod, a USB cable, and a US uh, US user US user manual. That's what's in the box. Oh. Uh. Cut towards your pal, not your penis. Something like that. What? What did he just say? I don't know. That guy's weird. Um, I'm going to guess I slide this out. I'm going to guess I slide it out. Slide it out. <sighs> Maybe. Come on. Why you got to make everything so difficult? I don't need a box mod to be have a childproof package. I don't. This is how it goes. It slides out from the bottom. It's the only way it could go. 
Okay, but I'm missing a piece of tape on here. I'm going to rip the bottom right off of this box. Okay. It's like getting an iPhone. Ugh. This, this is heavy duty. This box right here. Um, you probably didn't need to go that heavy duty on a box. It's purple. It's purple, Mother Brothers. It's purple. Yeah, it is. Dude, and it's wrapped. And it's wrapped. It's uh, in tape. What? Why? Why? I guess. Let's keep it clean and shiny and whatnot. What? Give me a break. Take this off. God damn. God damn, drill sergeant. That's uh that's kinda cool looking. Look at that. That's kinda cool looking. XT doesn't have giant markings all over it. Designed by Tesla Sigs. Don't vape in a bin, as some folks would say. Got an on and off switch. Um Alright. But uh Y'all know me. This is how I like my mods. I like the buttons on the side. I don't like them on the front panel. I don't like them on the top. I like them on the side. And uh, one thing um, I'm kind of digging that I didn't even look up is uh, here's the 510. On the opposite side of the buttons. So if juice runs down the front because I overdrip or whatever, it's not going to go in my buttons. That's kind of nice. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Um, okay, I open it up, and it's got some foam pads in there. And some... Ooh, more foam pads. Ooh, another foam pad. Jesus. Really? Um, well, that's nice. The Tesla SIG ones have... Uh, these are the 18650 sleeves, so you can use 18650s in here. Um, but it is a... 2700 21700 I'm gonna guess that if I slide some 2700s in here uh, there's gonna be a little bit of uh, movement but uh, these have venting those have venting um, at the top my, my other ones do not they're solid at the top so that's kind of nice uh, Let's see. Let's stick a couple of these uh, uh, Molecel INR 2700As in. All right. That's uh, that's what we're going with. Yeah, it is marked on here very clearly. Positive, negative. Let's see the light show. DOA. Nothing happens. Not a not a damn thing. Well, let's double check. Yeah, yeah. Positive. Negative. Close the battery door. There it went. Tesla SIGs. Nice display. Let's check it out a little bit. Ooh, nice little display right there. Battery meter, 100%. Norm. Whatever. That's what it looks like. Oh, shit. It's got lights. Oh, shit. It's got lights. Oh, I wasn't looking for lights. They're changing colors right now. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to play with light settings. Um... Purple on purple when you fire it, and then it just kind of teams through at the moment. I guess uh, I guess we'll get to that when we get to that. Nothing else, right? No other weirdness going on. No, good. Um, compared to the Vupu with 18650s in it, 2700s in it, this isn't much different. This has a tank on it, of course, but... This is real close. Yeah, it kind of looks cool. Uh, purple and green going on. Uh, turn to baby blue. It's, the camera doesn't do it justice, really. 
That, I don't know, that's kind of cool looking. I don't know why, but it is. So yeah, we're going to rock the Tesla SIGs for a little while. Um, user manual, just like it said. Oh, let's see here. Battery battery safety. That's a good battery. These all suck. Um, certificate of authenticity. Okay. That would kind of make a cool little display box. Um, and the charge cable, data cable, whatever. I don't know if this is uh, firmware updatable whatnot hey I kind of like this cable I'm gonna use it for my phone because that's a cool cable braided cable and it's silver and and it's silver and my phone is silver and silver things yeah that's a vape mail for today uh, anything else you wanna know uh, I got a few more minutes to kill this is 16 minutes long so far. Um, I'm not using XSplit for this, although I may have trouble uploading to VapeTube uh, in this format. So we'll see how that turns out. Why does that work? Why does that work? Why does it work so well? Why isn't it just burning the hell out of my coils? Why? Why does that work so well? I don't know. I really don't know. But uh, I only did it. I wanted to use something with my 2700s, and this is the only box I have left. That takes those. So, we got that. What happens when I screw something on here? You going to ask me for a new coil? That fits on there pretty good. That uh, fits right there. I can't remember if this is 25 mil or what. But uh, that's uh, pretty nifty. Um, new. Yes, new. Same. It's never had a coil on it, so I don't know why it would say same. Yes, plus. Um, that's 40 watts. Oh, it's barely doing anything. Ooh, ooh. That's 40 watts. Let's see here. Let's rock it, baby. Let's go. Um, what does this go up to? 220 watts, which is... 5.91 5.91 volts that's a 8.4 let's see let's see what happens that feels like more than uh, 5.91 volts and that's maxed out 220 right there um, That feels really close to that. That's weird. Um, and this is on normal. One, two, three. Oh, shit. You can change your resistance settings. No, thanks. Change your ohm so we can go to norm. Soft hard user. We're going. We're going down to hard, bro. What the hell. What the hell's wrong with you? Hard. It's a hard knocks life for me. I have to go into the uh, user manual type crap and. Uh, Turn the lights to a specific color or turn them off if I can. I don't know if I can. It's cool like tribal crap going on there. I don't know what all that is. <coughs> Cranked all the way up. 
how does that compare? Granted, these batteries are probably an hour and a half old or so. It's noisy, right? Well, they're really close. They're really close. So, do I believe the 5.91 volts? There's a little bit of battery movement when you shake it. So don't shake it. Good idea. Let's not shake it. Is he going to ask me anything? Uh, new, same. It's the same. Same damn coil. Crank still 220. It stayed at 220. Ta -da! Let's find. We'll find out later if it does that uh, with the other tanks. It's pretty angry. It sounds just as angry as that one. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't think the the voltage is quite correct for that because. I don't know. I don't know because this feels just like that feels. I can live with that. I don't know. Are we done? Are we done? I got stuff to put away now. Oh, do I keep this box around? See, these are the questions. All right. You saw there's a battery cable in here. This is why I do uh, vape mail videos. You get to see what comes in the package here. I don't do that really often when I give a little look-de-loo on the, on the package contents. The tray, the tray can go away. I don't want the tray. Um, we'll, we'll shove everything back in the box. The XT. Hopefully, this will be a device that works and works and works. Hopefully. That is what we go for, right? We go for devices that work and work and don't shit the bed. Like the last two 2,700 devices I had. Um, I don't know. It's up there somewhere. Um, the body right there. The body of the Luxotic NC is up there. Um, and I tossed all the guts out because there was a lot of frying going on in that box. Which... Really cool. If you uh, if you have a red one and a green one of these, and you want to swap parts, you can just unscrew the top or unscrew the bottom, and uh, you could slide this together, and you don't have to mess with any of the inner workings of it. You just slide it off, and uh, everything is self-contained in the metal itself. So if you wanted a green bottom with a red top. You could do that. Or you wanted a, a green top with a red bottom, you could do that. It's just the four screws that are on top, the four screws that are on the bottom. Everything slides apart. It's cool. Cool beams. Um, could even the screws on the bottom that tie this together? I don't think so. I don't think so. But you know me. Um, I'm an idiot, so what do you... What, what 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 does that tell you? It it looks like a box mod still, but it ain't. I didn't really care for the switch up here anyhow, or the little pinhole where the light is, because that's all where your 510 is. Should have kept the parts, but I saw that you froze. Um I should have kept the parts around because this is a very strange device and I don't suggest you take the internal guts out of it because you will destroy where the potentiometer is. Yeah, it'll just pop right off of there. It's cheap plastic. I'm not quite sure how they got it in there so nice. Um, it slides It slides on a tray in here. Everything just slides in. So I think they put things together in a really strange fashion. But I don't know. I couldn't get it all pulled out without breaking stuff. The 510 on it is just weird. The floating 510, it looks like a damn spring going down from the bottom. 
and goes up to the center pin. And that's how the floating 510 works. I'm not a fan of having a spring as my actual pin connection. I would like a solid wire in there and spring load the actual 510 itself. Because then the current's not really running through that spring. In this, the current runs through the spring. And you'll never know that if you never take one apart. But take it apart because it blew a battery. Just sitting. Just sitting on the table. Blew a battery. It's horrible. Shouldn't happen. Just sitting here like this. You can still see some uh, singe marks on those connectors right there. Those are what makes your battery connection right there, those two little pins. And, yeah, they're burnt and gross and nasty, and that shouldn't happen. The The other 2700 device was that iJoy one, and it just stopped working. Just, it would work, and then it would stop working. It would tell me it was firing, but it wasn't firing. Um, yeah, uh, all sorts of stupid shit going on on that one had that apart a couple times it's just yeah. this is fairly comfortable but it does feel a little weighty but it's probably because of the 2700s this is a lot lighter than this but there's nothing really in here but a plastic sled and a few components this has a whole chipset in it and two giant batteries well, that has two giant batteries I don't know what I'm saying Y'all still hanging in there? Hmm. When I ramble, it's just best to uh, leave it on play, walk around the room, whatever you want to do, and just let me ramble on. Bumblebee, 1984, bro. Y'all have fun now, because I know I will.